So come on in, take a sip. Let's wind down on the Friday New York Times crossword. We are still enjoying our Bodegas Aresan. It is a Tinto de España and it is a wonderful red wine. If you get an opportunity, try it. This is the 2022 Vint and I am in love with it. So looking at our grid here today, we looks like we have an Alex Murphy construction edited by Joel Faliano. And without any further ado, Let's hop into this grid and see what Friday has in store for us. So, Hardy. <clears throat> well, we got six letters to work with, so I'm going to go with robust to start because I just don't know. And why not? But you know what? Just take a moment. It's been a long week. That makes everything better. Okay, so body. Maybe ribald. This cannot be stressed enough. No idea. Podium figure. How about an orator? Concoct with up. We could be dreaming something up here. Closest confidant. Informally, I'm assuming this is my bestie we're talking about. Uh, Lowry, who wrote The Giver. And I think her name is Lois. 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 Damn you, vile woman. Ethnic minority in New Zealand. So I'm assuming we're talking about Samoans. I don't know for sure. Flawless display of technique. Don't know. Fever pitch. Five letters with an M. How about mania? I, uh. Now let's try to get back on track. I'll have to just keep in the back of my mind that I have some yet un unchecked things over there. So this cannot be stressed enough. Might be I repeat, which is pretty. You're putting the stress on it at that point, huh? High times could be ups. Cello parts are written in it. And I guess this would be um, the um, bass clef. Let's see. Sunni or Shia would be a sect. Bone connected to the fibula, and I guess this would be the talus. Canned liquid rich in essential fatty acids. My assumption is tuna oil, um, but I, I don't. I don't know. Well, we got a ten there. I think the perfect score. Work out. Um, probably solve. I don't know. I don't feel comfortable putting it in there. Uh, misleading cognate like the German gift, which actually means poison. Talk about taking me back to rhetoric and logic 102, 103. This might be a false friend. I, I have no idea. We're going to have to just check it though. Work out. Yeah, I'm going to, now I feel good with solve. So what hucksters may be guilty of, I don't know. Nicknamed for an early 2000s governor of California. Yeah, and I think this is Arnold or Arnie as he went by. And I think that I gives me my oil. Man, this is a great grid. So far, um, well, I don't know. Hang on just a second. I just noticed there might be something crazy going on. What is this at? Quarterbacks stat abbreviation. Okay, attempt. Just making sure. So I didn't want to brag on it, but I think we got a pretty good grid here. Suck up. Mm, flake. What do you think? Maybe bail? Uh, occasionally censored part of the 12 down. No idea. <laughs> Fairly, I guess that could be rashly. Indie label. Suck up. Could be absorbed. Okay. I kind of was thinking that, but I'm not quite sure. Indie label. Uh, rashly. No. Wait a minute. That's fairly. No, we don't want rashly at all. Um, no, that would be the, the opposite. Um, <laughs> indie label. I really don't know. If it's like Indie 500, maybe an STP, but I just don't know. Come on, that's just ridiculous. How about an, oh, police. <laughs> Let's up. Uh, 
I guess that could be relents. Um, fairly. Actually, that could be STP here because I'm thinking this is rather. So, rather coarse, fairly coarse, right? You know, somebody got to get your. Ooh, what do we got here? Occasionally censored part of the 12 down. It looks like we have a nipple here, so this must be a breast, and we need to check it because I don't know. Broadway Salonga. Yes, one of my favorite Filipina actresses, Lee. Where the lions sleep tonight, presumably in the jungle. <laughs> uh, let's see. It'll make you laugh. It'll make you cry. One of the Hollywood Chris's. I'm assuming this is Pratt. I guess this could be a dramedy. Uh, we need to check that. Iconic role for Frank Oz. Yes, Yoda. All right. Gosh. All, all the Star Wars nerds are going nuts now, right? Let's see, Tylenol, alternative. Got an O, oh, and I can't think of anything other than Motrin. Let's see what we got here. Take in, maybe admit. Square. Hmm. Square. Maybe a plaza. I don't know. No, no. I feel good about admitting Yoda, so. Um, perfect score, maybe 10 out of 10. This is a really solid little grid. Go through, perhaps use, i.e., consume, right? That looks good. I don't know. A flawless display technique. I guess this could be a master class. Uh, Guerrero Heroico. Uh, oh, Che uh, Rivera. Okay, cool. So, dogs post surgery wear familiarly. You think maybe a cone of shame? <laughs> that's fabulous. Oh, that's good. That's not as good as Boo Birds, but it's close. Um, this looks like it might be overselling something. Head cold. Oh, that's classic right there. I think this might take the case today for the cleverest of clue answer combinations. Head cold, brain freeze. I'm loving it. Time saver for a breakfast chef. I have no idea. Mail protocol popularized by How I Met Your Brother. No idea either. Never seen it. Don't know. Currently, he has as it is play place could be an arena concessions could be sops so it looks like this might be a crepe mix let's see what this x is what might be included in an act of congress no idea Main ingredient of the Puerto Rican dessert, piragua. And those are snow cones, but they're really, really like snow trapezoids or pyramids or something. I've seen them. I had one when I was a kid, but I don't, I think I'm just gonna go with ice. I can't think of, yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. This could be bro code, but again, I don't know it all. And yes, I guess this is as it is, maybe. So what do we got now? Fonda's co-star in Grace and Frankie, and that would be Tomlin. Fate could be my lot. Yo-yos could be idiots. Violet variety, maybe a pansy. What might be included in an act of Congress? I guess a sex toy. Now that... That's probably, I thought Brain Freeze and Kona Shame were up there, but I'm thinking the sex toy is an act of Congress. That's pretty, pretty clever. Uh, la uh, Clemenza di Tito uh, from Mozart. Compounds in tea and wine. Well, that gives me an excuse to celebrate. Tannins. Those qualities, I got about a 50-50 here in the Bodegas Arison, uh, but the tannins always, when there's when it's high in tannins or a mix of them, I always want a steak or something more or less fatty, fatty fish, you know, stuff like that. Like this wine makes me just want to have 
corned beef, you know, it's just good. Some compost bin detritus, I'm assuming these are gonna be peels. I've had to learn how to spell those in British vernacular and in American yank speak. I think we do have overselling. That was a pretty fun clue. Oh no, what's this DN crap? Another name for C sharp sharp. Ah, good. D natural. Uh, yeah, I mean, it helps to be a musician. It really does. Um, it's a no period. So I guess we're talking about a number. So we get telephone. Conceptualize could be to ideate like firstborn children vis-a-vis -vis second born children statistically and I don't I, I, taller I mean I'm taller than my kid sister I don't know I, if this is if, it, if it's right I got to commit this to memory I had no idea that firstborn children tend to be taller that is pretty freaking cool I uh, like Mount Rushmore's makeup and I guess this would be granite tone of many tweets perhaps snark Scandinavian capital, and I'm assuming we're talking about money. I think we're talking about the kroner. So uh, how did we do, Bob? Not bad, and a tight grid. It was so clever, and while, yes, I thought the cone of shame was good and brain freeze was great, I got to admit, a sex toy is an act of Congress, right? You know, talk about putting the body uh, by camera as it may be. <laughs> <laughs> to work that was a that was a clean grid so okay tap you on out of here now and happy friday everybody my name is christopher and i am just delighted to have you here with me as always it is always great to solve with you i love reading your comments appreciate the new subscribers i love and appreciate the legacy subscribers I love seeing comments from folks that I've heard from over and in the past and whatnot, and it just means the world to me. So thank you all for that. And with that, let's go ahead and bring down our enseigne d'adieu. And until I see you tomorrow for the grid, the mini grid, and the guardian quick crossword, ich wünsche Ihnen einen schönen Tag noch. Uh, bis später, bis dann, bis morgen. Auf Wiedersehen, tschüss, servus, grüß, go, ciao, and chin chin. And until we see you for those three grids that are going to be, oh, I just know, so challenging, uh, be especially good to yourself, be really especially good to your neighbors, and by all means, treat the fellow behind you in line with the utmost courtesy. Everybody we meet is fighting their own battles. You take care. Have a wonderful day.